Good morning children. Before starting our lesson, let's play a game. In this game, I am going to show you few Indian personalities and you have to identify them. The first picture is before you. Who is she? Yes, she is Kalpana Chavla, the first Indian lady who went into the space. And who is she? She is Sunita Williams, the second Indian lady who went into the space. And can you recognize the third one? No. Why? Because you don't know who is she. She is Meet Swan Pandey, selected by NASA for training to go into the space. If she passed the training, she will be the third Indian woman who, went, who will go into the space. Now come to the lesson, Sunita in space. The objectives of our lesson are to know about the earth and the space, to know about the experiences of Sunita in space through pictures and videos, and to introduce you a new term, earth pull or the gravity. Now, can you recognize this picture? Yes, this is globe. And what is a globe? As it reflects itself, its shape is round. So it is a model of earth. And as the globe is showing you like that, the two parts, these are the earth part and this is the water body part. Okay, it is a small model of the earth which tells you which city, which uh, a country is on, uh, which part of the earth. And this is the north pole and this will be the south pole of the earth. Okay. And this is the spacecraft, a space shuttle in which the space men or the trained persons go into the space. Now, let's come to the lesson, Sunita in space, again, that is the first part is straight from the heart. What do you think the earth looks like? I think you all should know that earth is look like the uh, ball, round in shape. Here, two children are playing with the globe and they are showing you the conversation here, Uzera and the Shahameed. Uzera, do you know that Sunita William is visiting our school tomorrow? I have heard that she has spent more than six months in space. Shahameed, looking at the globe, hmm, look here is America, Africa. Hey, where is the space? Uzera, the sky, the stars, the moon and the sun, they all are in space. Shahameed, Yes, I know. Sunita Williams went in a spaceship. I saw on TV that she could see the earth from there. Uzera, yes. From there, the earth looks like this globe, means round in shape. Shahameer, if our earth looks like this globe, then where are we? Uzera takes a pen and places it on the globe. Uzera, here we are. This is India. Shahameed, if we were here like this, we would fall off. I think we must be inside the globe. Yes, children, are we inside the globe? See, we are here. Uzera, if we are inside, then where is the sky, the sun and the moon and the stars? We must be on the globe. And all the seas and the oceans must be on the globe. So children, whenever somebody asks you where you are on the globe, so you will say we live on the earth, not in the earth. Okay. Shahameer pointing towards the lower part of the globe. You mean to say that no one stay here? Uzera, people live here too. Brazil and Argentina are here. Shahameer, are people there standing upside down? 
Why don't these people fall off? Ozera, yes, it looks strange, isn't it? And this blue part must be the sea. This one the sea. Why doesn't the sea water fall off? Yes, children, you must be think that all these questions comes in your mind also. If the earth is round like a globe, how is it that we do not fall off? Because the earth pulls everything towards it. Do the people in Argentina stand upside down? No. The people of Argentina do not stand upside down. They stand like us. Talking with the Sunita. Now Sunita when reached a school. When Sunita came to India, thousands of children like Ozera and Shahamir got a chance to meet her. Sunita says, what is her experience? That her friend Kalpana Chawla wanted to come to India and meet children. She came to India to fulfill Kalpana's dream. Yes, children, Kalpana was the first lady. Now see these, the Sunita's experiences of living in space. We could not sit at one place. We kept floating in the shape from one place to another. Water too doesn't stay at one place. It floats around as a blobs. To wash our face or hands, we had to catch these blobs and went wet paper with them. We ate very differently there. The real fun was when all of us would float into the dining area of the spaceship and catch the floating food packets. In space, there was no need to comb our hairs. My hair kept standing all the time. Not being able to walk, we had to go get out of to floating around. We had to learn to do simple things differently. To stay at one place, we had to strap ourselves. The paper also had to be stuck to the wall of the spaceship. It was a lot of fun living in the space, but it was also difficult too. Now, children, look at the paragraph, photographs and and can you think why Sunita's hair was standing? Yes, Sunita's hair was standing because there, well, there is no gravity in the space. Now, let we will observe these pictures on nine, when Sunita take off. Our feet don't stay on the floor. These pictures will show you the experiences of this. Uh, the Sunita Williams in space. Look, the hair is standing, no problem while working. There is the food flying and they have to go here and there. And this is the part where Sunita uh, went outside the spaceship, it really in the space, yes. And now the, isn't amazing. What is amazing about the earth? On the earth, when we throw something up, it comes down. When we throw a ball up in the air, it falls back. We are able to catch it on the earth. We don't keep floating round. When we fill a glass or bucket with water, it stays there. It doesn't float around in blobs as Sunita Williams says. It is the something special about the earth that makes this happen. The earth pulls everything towards itself. Sunita Williams went 360 kilometers away from the earth in a spaceship. Think how far the, this would be. Find out which town or the city is located about 360 kilometers away from you live. I think from Prayagraj, Lucknow is about to in uh, this kilometers. Can you say now that why Sunita Williams here kept standing? Yes, because... There is no force of gravity there. Think why water flows downwards on any slope on mountains to water flows downward, not upward. Because on the mountains or on the earth, the uh, gravity of earth or the force of earth pulls everything towards itself. Now, where the lines really means when you will uh, observe this picture of a globe, see, Few lines are uh, you can see on this globe. The, is these lines really on the earth? I think no. 
Sunita describes her view of the earth from the ship. The earth looks so beautiful and amazing. We could watch it for hours from the window of the spaceship. We could clearly see curved shape of the earth. Look at this photograph of the earth taken from a spaceship. This is the photograph. From such photographs today, we know that earth looks like it. But thousands of years ago, people could not imagine what the earth looks like. Scientists tried hard to find out how big is the earth. How does it go around? So can you see India on this? Yes, I think this is the part. Can you recognize any other place, the, the China or any other thing? Where is the sea? I think the blue part is the sea. Do you find anything similar between the globe and this picture of the earth? The shape that is round in shape. In what ways they are different? They are different because that is a small or uh, model of the earth. Small in size, it is very big in size. Do you think Sunita could make out Pakistan, Nepal and Burma separately? No, from so far the distance, uh, she could not uh, rec uh, separately recognize these places. Now, when you look at a globe in your school, tell all these things. It will be very easy for you. If you have a globe at your home, you can try it by yourself and you can play a game of finding different countries on it. Now, Ozera and Shahamir are looking at different countries on the globe. Ozera, see there are lines between different countries on this globe. Are such lines also there on the earth? There must be. They are there on the map of the India in this book too. See, these, there, these lines are there between the different states too. Between the different cities also. Ozera, if we go from Delhi to Rajasthan, would we find such lines made on the ground? I think no, this has not happened. Look at the map of your country and tell. Can you find the state in which you live? Yes, we, you can easily recognize it. Which are the states next to the state you live in? You can find out easily with the help of the map. Uh, have you been to any other state? It depends on the conditions of your uh, family. Shahamir thinks that there are lines drawn on the ground between the states. What do you think? I think on the ground there were there is no line. When Sunita saw the earth from the space, she find that uh, earth very beautiful. Many thoughts came to her mind as she described it. From so far away, one can only make out the land and the sea. One cannot see the different countries. Division into countries has been made or done by us. All the lines on the map are made by us. There are they are in our minds. I wish all think about this. Where are the lines? Really, the lines are nowhere in the universe. It is only created by the man. Shahamir, close one eye and move the coin back and forth while looking at the moon. Look, I can hide the moon behind this coin. This activity we can do very easily and we enjoy it. Ozera, wow, imagine hiding such a big moon behind such a small coin. Why don't you try it with the same coin? How many centimeters away from the uh, your eye did you keep the coin to hide the moon? All this you can do and you have, may have a fun doing all these activities. Have you ever been looked carefully at the sky at night? Don't the, don't the twinkling stars look magical? And sometimes the moon is silvery and bright, while sometimes it is nowhere to be seen in the black sky. Means the there is a very lot of interesting facts about the moon to us. And you can make a chart of this today's date and date after a week and date after 15 days. And you have you can draw the picture shape of the Moon. Then you can find out that the moon keeps on changing its shape from uh, from the, uh, crescent to the full moon. And there are so many festivals we celebrate on the basis of the moon, like the Eid, Karvachot, even the Dipavali, Holi. Mostly the 
90 percent of our festivals are depend on the position of the moon this is the table of rising and setting of the moon uh, in the evening or in the morning okay you can find out the answers of these questions with the help of this table easily twinkling of the stars is very amazing you must come to know that the both we understand these things what is a star what is the satellite and what is a planet a shooting star and a satellite satellite stars can be seen twinkling because stars have its own light like sun is a big star sun is also a star and it has its own light a shining object when seems to move with a constant speed in the sky can be a satellite the difference between the star and the satellite is that if the twinkling thing you observe in the sky it is a star and if the shining object moves with a constant speed then you can imagine that that is a satellite a shooting star is actually a meteor which catches the fire when it enters the earth's atmosphere that is tootta tara and when we show interest ourselves then you can uh, children these three things you can observe in the um, sky at night and with the along with your parents go and observe and enjoy this part the second thing is that the one most important or both most amazing part of this lesson is that sunita william has told about herself ki what she wants to become and what she thinks when sunita williams was 5 years old she saw pictures of neil armstrong landing on moon in 1969 neil armstrong was the first man to walk on the moon like any other child sunita was also fascinated sunita says that when she was a young girl she really loved sports and swimming she was never too interested in studies after high school sunita wanted to become a driver but she could not get into that course instead she became a helicopter pilot one day she found out that if she studied and trained for it she could join the space mission and that is what she did in 2007 sunita williams set a new record for the longest space flight in by a woman sunita often gives her own example to tell children if you want something but you get something else don't give up do your best and things will work out sunita was asked by a child that what would she like to do in future she answered i want to become a school teacher so that she could make children understand how science and maths are closely related to or linked to our lives i think children this is all about your lesson and you must in have enjoyed it Uh, you read this lesson once again then you will come to know that this is a very amazing and very interesting chapter a uh, 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 one video related to this chapter i will publish uh, after this uh, and you must watch that video also that is also a, a very uh, fruitful video for you thank you for watching this video and if you like it share it and subscribe it it will be a great great opportunity and thank you for me